Meanwhile, the Supreme Court today heard arguments that could affect charges the former president faces in another case. And hundreds of people who were convicted or are facing charges in connection with the January 6th attempt to overturn the 2020 election. And the law in question criminalizes efforts to obstruct, influence, or impede any official proceeding. It can result in a 20-year sentence, although no one convicted of this crime has received that full sentence yet. Lawyers for a January 6th defendant named Joseph Fisher, a former police officer from Pennsylvania, challenged the law, saying that it only applies to physical evidence. That law was enacted in 2002 to close a loophole in the Enron case, where accountants had been destroying documents. A lot of today's arguments got into nitty-gritty details about the language of the law. Several conservative justices were also skeptical of the law being applied broadly, which the government's lawyer countered by pointing out that of more than 1,300 people charged in the events of January 6th, only about 350 faced this additional charge. If the Supreme Court decides that the obstruction law can not be used in this situation, it will likely affect jail time for people convicted. No one was charged with only this obstruction crime. Several judges have said that if the law is struck down in this application, they would tweak sentences for other charges so the convicted serve their full sentence.